No, no, I PC, I'm PC all the way. I'm Android PC. There we go. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> PC Master Race. Oh shit. <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Fuck. Got him. <laughs> well, Free Weekly in Atlanta was that was great, and now I'm back to with my day job and uh, yeah, trying to trying to make a business and trying to be an entrepreneur. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I I just you know, at the end of the day, I'm also sitting here just like trying to get my way, get through life, you know, and it's just it's what I the thing that I hold dear the most is. It's just crumbling. Yeah. And it just reminds me, you know, like what happened in the good old days? Right. You know, what the fuck did this all come? Where did furry politics? And I made a videos. I got videos on my YouTube channel of just random shit. You yeah. know, I'm not the greatest person on, on camera, but, you know, I, I, I talked about furry politics. Like, I don't understand politics. Where the fuck do we need politics <laughs> in the fandom? Seriously. Right. Like, I, like for me, like, this is kind of like unplanned. This like all of a sudden spontaneously happened. Like, oh shit. Well, it looks like I have to make a video about this because I can't help it at this point. And there's like three other videos I have planned, not about this, but just random topics that I had saved up. And like, after that, I'm pretty much done, you know, discussing like, political ish topics regarding furries because I might rather focus on more like world events and things of consequence that are actually going on right now. Um, more the more so than this, but yeah, I just, I, you know, something I'm involved in, it's something I have a lot of enjoyment in and the idea of it changing into something that wouldn't accept me for existing and possibly drive me out and not even drive me out, really force me out. That's, that just doesn't sit well with me at all. So, you know, I, I, I have to sit, put my say in because who else will, will other than two. And that's about it. <laughs> you know, I, I will, I will put my say in by existing and being a thorn in everybody's ass. <laughs> that's what I will do because that will show that, you know, no matter what you throw at me, I will not stop until you kill me. So right. until furry gets some balls and starts to shoot me at con, then, yeah. then, I, you know, I always saw, you know, what that's kind of the mentality that brought me into furry in the pr first place. Like I was, I was worried about my job. I was worried about, you know, X, Y, Z, like what happens if my friends find out that I am into this, you know, cause you know, let's face it. I was more into the sexual side of things before I got into involved in and got a little more of what, what actually goes on at furry cons and everything. And, yeah, I was worried about all that stuff, and needless to say, those fears fears were actually rather unfounded. And now it's like all of a sudden it's, it's turning around into that now. And it's like, oh shit, do I have to worry about these people, these furries attacking me now about my, you know, about my job because they don't like something I say or draw or whatever. And you know, that's I get, you know, I get it. That's the risk I take by I'll speak in my mind. But you know, people shouldn't have to worry about their fucking careers. Because they have a, a political stance um, that doesn't exactly fit to what they uh, they have, and outside of it, just blatantly saying something that is actually racist, such as you know whites are better than blacks or et cetera, you know what what can what what can you put against people? when they have a, a certain political stance, whether it be abortion and other social issues, really. And the other thing is, too, about politics is, like, it seems like it's always been there because I've read about uh, burned furs back in the day before I joined and all I this other drama. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, you're, fifth, you're, like, what, 15 back in the day? or Yeah. <laughs> I, I joined it just because it was another group, and I learned a lot about it. And the burn for you know, it's the, the mentality is, it's it's just they realize that the the sexual aspect is not the focus that everybody was making it, and they wanted to try to repeal that out. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately. When you you don't take EF from furries because they will fucking like they're like <laughs> hungry mad animals. <laughs> <laughs> so that's yeah. what happened. They got attacked and somebody lost their fucking it, bolts. It's kind of funny because you know what I think back when with my the way I thought back when I was like 15 and 14. You know I probably would have been one of them too back in the day, which would have been pretty hypocritical of me to do so in, in my in my stance. 
And it's you know it's funny. It's like I, I look back. I'm like, well, I'm glad I wasn't really into into the furry community until I matured a little bit. I you could you could say, <laughs> but yeah, I don't because, know. Yeah, I mean, I would say that it, 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 for me, I was on the back burner a lot in the furry community. I wasn't out there trying to get notarized or anything. Or right. Be, I I hate poppy first. I'm just gonna throw. <laughs> Holy cow, because, you know, I when Armacy went down, Hawthorne, the fox, I don't watch his shit or anything, but I know about him, and he made a video, and he, all, his first introduction with RMFC being canceled was laughing. Oh, fake documents, lawsuits, and Nazis, and your convention's done! Oh my god, it's like a storybook ending! And then he's like, oh, see, look what happens when you bring Nazis in the con. Uh, ha, ha, ha. And then I'm sitting there like, yeah, didn't your dog jack up your fursuit head? Yeah, he should do that again. Because <laughs> you're being a, just a plain dick. And oh, and because he's popular, everybody agrees with it. Right. You know? yeah, that's <laughs> what I have to look forward to as I build my audience. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey. I will never, no matter how much... How, if furry raiders become a bigger thing, become a, I will not stoop to that level. I will always still be myself, and I am not catering to even my own group's wishes. Sometimes they they have made complaints. Oh, you should stop wearing the armband. I'm like, no. Yeah, I, I can relate to that. I'm I'm kind of stubborn, you know. I I in some respects I probably should have gave up the whole you know trying to make a YouTube a thing you know years ago. But it's just like you know. It's what I like doing. What else am I going to do? Play with my dick for 30 more years? You know, I like making videos. I like I like doing artwork. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get better at it. I'm going to fucking show all you motherfuckers what's up. <laughs> That's the drive, the will, the spark, the energy. Like, when, for me to exist, me to be a social obstacle in the community, I am inherently pretty much stating that if you if you preach what, if you say what you preach, you should do it. Yeah. And if you want to be accepting, then, you know, I should also be accepted. And then they're like, oh, I love how they throw, like, go do your own thing, but not like that. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's not what we meant. Right. Oh, but, yeah. But, you know, it's, I, I, I'm just, I'm, I don't know where, I mean, right now, like I said, people are going to get more and more mad at me. But it's starting, it, I, what I like about this situation with Arma C, and so, yeah, I don't want to see Arma C go, but. Right. The point is, is that people are starting to see it's not just the right. It's not just the Nazi fox. It, it's not the furry raiders. It is a piece of a lot of things. And if they start really digging into it, they realize that there's a problem in the fandom and they will start making adjustments to how to try to solve it. Right. So progression. And we, we have to we have to sometimes we have to fall. Sometimes we, we have to be in the pitch black before. We can find light at the tunnel again. And that's, I think, as much as I don't want it to happen, as much as I don't want to see the fandom crack and fall apart, it may. Uh, it's just, it's something that we need to... Yeah, and it'll, it'll spark forward. back. I mean, you know, as long as as long as long people find a fascination with animal characters and whatever that aspect turns into later down the years, <laughs> it, it'll, it'll exist, you know, you know, no matter what. It may, yeah, it may go on the wayside for a little bit. Cons may close. Cons, you know, cons come and go, and it'll build up. It'll build itself up again as long as people hold interest in the world doesn't blow itself up. You know. Yeah, pretty much <laughs> it will. And I would say that people are going to actually start. What they're, what's going to happen is that just like how their real life and society was before they came into the fandom, where they were ostracized, yeah. put in the corner. That's what's going to happen with a lot of furries, and they're going to find the people that they care about. They're going to reconnect to their moral values, and then reintroduce that back into the better thing. So, let's hope we can not do that, but you know, crumble and fall. Let's let's hope that we can find a way past this right now. Right. And that's the reason why I think I'm staying mostly quiet. But, you know, I don't mind you making videos or other people making comments. You know, they can say what the fuck they want. <laughs> yeah. It's just, you know, it's... Let's, let's, I figure, you know, like, I don't, I don't know. It just seems like common sense to me to just go to the person that might know the, the best about what's going on or, like, you know, the best representation of their own group. Let's go to the actual leader of the group and actually talk to him as, as opposed to what everyone else is doing. Let's just uh, spread a bunch of rumors, conjecture, and tweet about how much we hate a person we don't know and we never talked to and, 
and because my friends hate him, I'm going to hate him too, and, and etc. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, you know what's surprising? Uh, even in the own Furry Raiders group, that mentality does still exist, and I, I try to debunk it a lot. Uh, like one time, we had one guy that we met. You know, he his name is RML. He, he he spent a lot of time in Alaska. He was born here in Colorado. He's back here, and he's planning to move back to Alaska. Yeah. And you know, his social circle is taking care of uh, like 500 huskies. So, is he wasn't he wasn't I would say he's not all screwed on correctly, but you know, people I remember we were sitting at the dinner table, we're having a little dinner meet and and we were they were like I don't want they were, everybody was like I don't want RML. He's so annoying. He's so annoying. And I said we cannot do that. We need to try to learn to understand who he is and everybody is welcome. Even yeah. if you don't like the way he is. And then eventually, guess what? He ends up being the best friend of almost everybody. He's the most helpful person. <laughs> you know, he's willing to be there anytime for you. That's, see. And that's not, kind of special to me right there, you know. Yeah, I know. The point is, is that's the point. Because not everybody presents themselves like a perfectly clean book. You know, they look, they don't, they don't appease you at first, but their heart is in the right place. Yeah. I almost, so, I, like, I caught myself falling into that hole myself, like, when I was early starting on, like I saw myself falling into that crowd of a bunch of cackling hens, you know, sitting around talking about people that aren't even in the room, uh, you know, talking about this, so-and-so did this, so-and-so did that. And I just kind of saw that and just took a step back for a little while and just like, well, I need to, I need to rethink this and, and make sure I don't turn into, yeah, turn into this sort of, th so to speak, like making public posts on social media about a person I don't like or you know not not it's a, it's a different when it's a celebrity and a public figure as opposed to you know just a guy that comes to your con or comes to your fur meet you know there's a difference there and it's kind of it's kind of bull uh, yeah it's kind of a uh, shitty way to to act and and, and it and, and it, it kind of destroys integrity a little bit of that person when I see someone posting about another person that they interacted with like oh my god you never believe what this guy told me when we had a you know a conversation like repeating things that were supposed to be a secret and and things that they they um they don't like about the person but yet they still hang out with them and even though they hate them there's, there's a lot of confusing shit in in this in some of these it groups. Is. It's <laughs> just it's just the fact that, you know, you, you I think the maturity level of a lot of furries are just not there. And mm. it, it, and the fact that the, the age gap the age group in the fandom is shifting way a lot younger. I mean I I'm meeting furries at meets who are like, Oh, I'm fifteen and they already have a fursuit and stuff. I'm just like You lucky bastard. <laughs> like, where the <laughs> fuck did this happen? Right. And they're like, Oh, and I'm a lesbian. I'm just like oh. <laughs> What? God well, damn. Yeah, I know. Like, right? I was 15. I didn't even know what I want to put my dick in right away. Right. Where, where when, I was, when I was 15, I was drawing pictures and hiding them underneath the bed and hoping to God no one ever finds out about them. No, Fuck. but now we're just like, you know, oh, I'm a furry jumping around. Oh, I'm a lesbian. This is a cool thing, you know. And my parents are super cool with it. And I, I see the parent come in. This is hilarious. I saw the, the, <laughs> this girl that was representing herself this way, and parents just, like, look like she just got... I'm I, I'm not trying to judge right away. He might be a super cool parent, but was just like, what? Like was completely like not in this reality. Just like had that stone look on her face. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's like I don't know how to handle my kid, but it's just doing its thing, you know. Right. <laughs> I'm just gonna let him be free. Let him be free to do his thing. It's like that, him. you know. It's like that dog. Your neighbor's dog that shits in your lawn all the time. That's kind of what it's doing, <laughs> you know. It's just like it's doing its thing, and I don't know why, and you don't want to do anything about it. Right. Uh, so, yeah, the furries are taking an interesting turn, and I, I think another statistic that I find really hilarious is when my shit blew up, not through furries, but worldwide, mm -hmm. I became kind of, when the whole Milo thing happened, I became, like, super popular for a week uh, <laughs> throughout the internet for a whole bunch of people. I had about a million and 1.1 million views on Damn. my organic views on my Twitter page, and... Uh, I love this. 89% iOS. I was like, oh. 
Oh my god. So if you're an SJW, you must have an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> Not saying, I mean, if you got one, I'm sorry. No, I'm no, sorry. I PC, I'm PC all the way. I'm Android PC. There we go. Fuck yeah. <laughs> PC Master Race. Oh shit. <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit. Fuck. Got him. <laughs> yeah, so. You know, it's just, it's just odd to see, like, 61% age group, 17 to 24. I'm just like, oh, my God. <laughs> I just had I just had a whole bunch of fucking millennials. No, not millennials. Is it in the X generation now? Yeah, we're, we're, the, we're considered millennials. You're born in the 80s. You're still considered a millennial. I don't know what they call the next generation now. Um, X, X generation is now all over my fucking page. I'm like, ah. Yeah. Fuck. Well, it's been fun. Yeah. I know. Um, well, it was good talking with you. I don't know yeah. if we're it's gonna touch base again anytime soon. Oh fuck yeah, man! I fuck, I want to fucking go go where you are and have a beer now. <laughs> <laughs> so you want you want to hang out in cons and do some crazy shit and you know watch people go like stare me down, and be like, <gasps> <sighs> shit, god damn, I'm gonna I'm gonna have some stares at me too. It's gonna be it's gonna be hilarious. Fuck. Oh and your friends god. are gonna come up and you be like. Oh wait. oh wait, and you, you gotta you gotta remember the fact that you know I didn't I didn't just come on here and start throwing insults at you and and fucking like what the fuck up man what's what's up with this fucking explain yourself what the fuck what the fuck fuck <laughs> you know what's funny the people that do tell me that shit like the hardcore people saying they're gonna kill me and stuff I look at their p- Twitter page and I look at their like pictures of themselves and I saw this one dude I think it's a dude maybe it's a chick I can't tell he nose piercing you well, that's, know that's transphobic fuck I, I know and it's like it's completely like it's got the big black square glasses frames <laughs> and then fucking pink Mohawk. I was just like, holy shit, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Can you, like, just not just, could you just not, like, just comb your hair back a little bit, you know, sprucing yourself up and go to work that way? No, you can't. No, shit. no, you gotta follow the stereotype now that you established. <laughs> yeah, God. I know. So, you know, I don't, I, I find that's extreme. I'm okay with that. You know, you could do your thing, that's you. You know, if you get fired because you look like that, it's totally fine. Right. And I'm not here to help you. <laughs> but, you know, I, 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 I enjoy a little bit of simplicity. I don't have to have, like, you know, worry about taking an hour to make myself look like I just can't, you know. <laughs> right. So well, I don't I'm get like... any tattoos. I know I'd be too lazy to maintain my tattoos. And, you know, I, <laughs> I usually, when I get my hair spiked, it's usually I spike my hair maybe for, like, a stream when I do Twitch. And, and that's about it. Or I do a video, and that's about it. Most of the time, it's just kind of, I'm just going to comb it over. Fuck it. It's, Go to work. Well, don't you do it? You know, when you do YouTube videos, I've seen a few of them. You don't usually are actually on camera. Um. Well, yeah. With the Furry Days channel, it's I'm trying to make more of Michael Ringtail a thing because that's it's Michael Ringtail. He has his he's I I portray him as like a human observer. He's a guy on the outside. He's a, you know he's a furry on the outside that watches the humies mope about and do their thing, and he uh, you know sits back. Watches the takes the you know does the shit show watches the shit show and takes notes, and reports on what he observes. That's kind of like what Michael Ringtail is on Furry Days and uh, Lemur Talks channel. When I get that back up, most of my stuff you can see my face in is on the Rotten A Creations channel, which I'll I'll just link to you real quick here, oh, in, case, okay. in case you want some entertainment. Self, um, this one furry decided to get butt hurt over a video I made six years ago, um, where. Um, Room 366 came out, and a lot of mm-hmm. people were bitching about that. And I was like, why are people getting so fucking worked up over this? You know what? I want to make a family-friendly version of this. So I took the Room 366 video, and I spliced Barney over it, the I Love You song. Yeah. And <laughs> six years later, this furry decides to do a claim on it, and a copyright claim, because he's like the only one that posted the 366 video at this point. So if you look, uh, if you search it now, my channel comes up actually, but uh, because <laughs> I I posted that video just to piss him off. <laughs> I, I posted the actual 366 video on my new furry channel just to piss him off, really. But um, yeah, the 366 video for kids. He got pissed about that. I responded to YouTube. I you know this is you know this is a false claim, whatever. But then the for YouTube for whatever reason, this this video was on two channels too, by the way. So for whatever reason, they decided to ban the furry one. Um, due to a abusive legal request, and I 
sent maybe like 20 emails to YouTube staff to try to get them to elaborate on what that fucking meant because the response to that was the same response I did on the other channel, which wasn't banned. And I never got a response from them. So I'm like, fuck it, I'll just make a new furry channel. So I did. And it's back up. And so, and the emails, the endless amounts of emails I got from this furry to the point where I'm like, I actually emailed Easy Wolf about it. I'm like, this guy's kind of like trying to act like he's he's your representative uh, right now. Um, it's, if you have nothing, if you have no time to deal with this, I understand. You know, if you address this, I just want to know if you can talk to him, whatever. If not, that's fine. It's all cool. I know you have nothing to do with this, really. Um, and so, yeah, he, he forwarded me the emails that, he, that was sent to him. He forwarded me his, his emails. I made a whole video about that. But, yeah, I'll leave you with that before I, I go to bed here because I got to get up at 5. Uh, oh, okay. I understand. <laughs>